Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, as the thumbnail and the title suggests, I'm not going to be trying to shoot film like a boss. Instead, I'm going to be showing you guys the Micro 2 slider from Xeopon that they kindly sent me a couple of months ago and the sharp-eyed viewers out there might have realized that I've been using the slider recently in some of my videos out on location and also in the darkroom. And here it is, the Micro 2 slider from Xeopon. It comes in this nice little funky box here, um, all nice and stylish. But this particular one has got a motor attached to it. Xeopon sent me the motor as well, so it's a motorized slider, which is great because I don't have to touch it when I'm in the dark room or what have you. I can just put it behind me, let it run, let it slide, and uh, take those clips from, from the video uh, that I want to use for the video that I'm making. So I'll just give you a quick overview of the slider. I've used sliders in the past, and they're, you know, they're, they're quite long, um, and, but this particular one is only about 20 inches, and it weighs about a kilo. I can put it in my bag and take it out uh, with me on location when I'm making vlogs, but the weight of it with the motor anyway, it does get a little tiny bit weighty in my bag with my cameras, but you know, also of course, if you want to use a slider, you've got, you've got to take it out with you, haven't you? So I've taken it out with me quite a few times, and I've really enjoyed using it and I like the results that it's been given hopefully you guys do as well and although it looks small the total slide length is about 20 inches so that's plenty for you to you know be as creative as you want making your little tiny slidey shots So I'll just quickly go over the functions and show you how it works. Um, this is the motor, you can use it without the motor and if you do use it without the motor, obviously it's a lot lighter and it's like any other slider, you're just gonna be doing it manually but it still works uh, nice and effortlessly as well uh, without the motor. But with the motor, it just means that you haven't got to touch the camera, um, you can set it and it will just start sliding away however you want it to slide, uh, as I have done in the past in the darkroom when the, the uh, camera and the tripod's been behind me. And it's got three variable speeds. The first light there is a slow speed. If I just press the top of the slider, nice slow speed. And if I press the power button again, it comes on two lights. That's a medium speed. And if I press it one more time, press it one more time, there you go. and it's a fast speed. There's the top there coming along. And you can hear the sound of the motor that does come out on the camera when it's on the slider, but if it's with B-roll, it's not gonna matter. Now I'll keep it on the fast speed for now. Now to slide it up and down, you've got two buttons at the top, one forward, one back. So if you press the back button, you can see it starts sliding back. Press the forward button, it starts sliding forward. But you might, you know, you might trouble, especially if you haven't got a stabilized camera or a stabilized lens, you know, you might end up doing a little bit of wobbling. Well, this motor is brilliant because it does it for you. So you can either use an app on your phone to control it, or you can control it using the motor itself. So example, if I bring it all the way back to here, double press the uh, forward button, it will just start sliding. I don't have to touch it at all, so it's eliminating any shake for me video um, for me video production. You know, there it goes. And I can also control it to go up and down on its own. So if I want to put it in a certain location, uh, say for example in the dark room, or even in here when I'm talking on another camera uh, angle, for example, I can have it just sliding up and down continuously while I'm talking. And I can control that by just double pressing the power button twice you hear a bleep then I'll pull it back to where I want it to uh, extend to or as far as I want to slide press the button twice again and then this time power button the forward button and it will start doing that on its own so now I can just leave it and continue doing um, you know whatever I'm doing and, and leave this slider with a b-roll camera sitting on top just uh, getting shots behind me in the dark room or wherever you wherever you want it really i find it really um really useful that little function 
And like I said, you can also control the slider using an app, which is uh, quite easy. It's also got a time lapse on there for photography. I don't, really, I wouldn't use that, but um, I'm more interested in the video and uh, the video production side of things. But um, on the app here, you've got a little tiny button up here, so I can slide it left and right just using the app and also I can control the speed as well. There's also waypoints, I can set up to five waypoints. So if I want the slider to start up here, come back to here, go back, go back, go back, blah, blah, da, 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 da. I can do that and I can also control the speeds as well. It's about a kilogram in weight with the motor on, obviously a lot lighter without the motor. The motor does weigh quite a bit, but I find the motor is really useful, um, especially if I want the slider to continue operating um, behind me or somewhere I can just walk away and leave it, um, you know, on a crowd of people or whatever, and it's just gonna keep, keep going up and down, getting me B-roll, keep moving the tripod to different areas and it'll just keep doing this all day long <laughs> until the battery runs out. And it doesn't come with batteries, you have to get your own battery, um, but it's an NPF550 battery that I use for my LED lights that fits this slider um, so that's the ones that i'm using here at the moment so that's a quick overview of the micro 2 plus slider from zeopon i'll put links in the description if you're interested in one of these for your own video productions or your or your youtube videos um, i'll put a link in the description the prices do vary i think this one with the motor is about 400 odd dollars without the motor it's about 170 or 180 dollars but um, you know i think the prices are changing all the time if you go online but i'll put links in the description if any of you guys are interested so that's what i use uh, that's what i've been using recently for my video productions thanks for watching sorry it wasn't all about film photography but I do put out a lot of videos about film photography this time just featuring some of the kit that I use. Cheers guys!